Gogs. We hope you had a wonderful week and are looking to hear our top five stories run down this week in a Cockney English accent. I'm just kidding, that was terrible. Number five, Paramount has made some major changes to their release schedule for this year. Friday the 13th has been pushed back for the fourth time now, and according to The Hollywood Reporter, may even be shut down entirely. Is Jason finally dead? Thank you! World War Z 2, however, is still in the clear, but according to Variety, has been moved from its summer release to a possible 2018 or 2019 debut. Number four, Nintendo is looking to the Switch's future. Nintendo director Shinya Takahashi discussed with time possible hardware revisions, saying people who are primarily Nintendo handheld gamers may buy Nintendo Switch and then, for example, if a new version were to come out later, then maybe they would decide to upgrade to that. Adding that the detachable Joy-Con controllers leaves open the possibility of something else that might get attached. Intriguing. Number three, the latest Overwatch public test region update has brought forth a suspicious hint that Doomfist may be our next hero. Reddit user Venza points out that the glass case on top of the model for the payload in the game's Numbani map appears to be broken in the game's back end. Inside is Doomfist's gauntlet. Oh, knowing Blizzard though, it may take a while until we get any confirmation on what this might actually mean. Number two, so what's with the Switch's lack of backward compatibility? Speaking with Time, Nintendo president Tatsumi Kimishima explains a Switch is not backward compatible with games designed for other systems. Well, that's clear enough, but he then added, in some cases, games from past systems may be re-released for the Nintendo Switch system as either enhanced original versions. And that, at least, gives us some semblance of hope. Thanks, Nintendo. And number one, a Castlevania animated series is being released by Netflix this year. That's right, Castlevania Season 1 Part 1 will be arriving this year, though no specific date was revealed. Here's what we do know, it will be a four-part season with each episode running for approximately 30 minutes and will follow the franchise's last surviving member of the Belmont clan. I love it! And those are your top stories for the week. Be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for more news, and I will see you guys on Monday.